All right. Uh, I'm rather upset. Not because of the movie. You know, I'm in a very awkward position right now, but I don't give a fuck. Considering I haven't done one of these in a very long time, I'm going to be doing one right now. And uh, I'm going to tell you. Oh, man. Don't ignore my shoulder. Uh, I'm going to tell you what I thought of uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, which I just saw. Homecoming was... Uh, A different Marvel movie. Uh, oh, by the way, and I'm also gonna be giving my thoughts on Wonder Woman, which I'm not gonna do a separate video about because it's been you know a month, and I I couldn't actually sit down and do it because I've been very busy, and right now I'm just so upset. I was like, "Fuck it, let's do it." And again, I'm not upset because of the movie, or although there were some parts that actually rather irritated me a little bit. Oh, and by the way, full on spoilers, such as fact that the original shocker got killed that actually the one that actually i believed was like oh cool well i don't know why they complain about the shocker oh oh he's dead oh he's dead oh okay so now we have a racially diverse shocker that is pretty awful uh okay yeah didn't like that that, that was pretty that was pretty awful. That was really bad, actually. Uh, really just like that. Uh, and uh, sadly, we really, honestly, I was, I wouldn't say I was excited, but seeing how he was and how they actually got it in, you know, how, the, the the guy, I was like, oh, cool. And now he's going to go his own way. And then, no, oh, no, he's actually, he actually got killed. And then the other guy kind of does the same thing. But then he's, he's kind of bitching out, and then he went back, and was like, what the fuck? Okay, and then he didn't do shit, and... Okay, the one problem, the one big problem that I've had this with this movie is that it's tonally... What, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? No, not mixed. Not deaf, although that's pretty close to it. it okay, well, it doesn't have a set tone. It is a movie that has so many tones, you don't even know what kind of movie you're watching. And this is where my kind of review of uh, Wonder Woman would come in, which I'm going to be reviewing this and that, and it's going to be completely different due to the fact that one is both, uh, well, more than both, I guess, quadra, uh, freaking comedy then high school drama which is again i guess comedy but kind of drama then romantic comedy then drama then very serious kind of michael keaton batman and then you know actually you do, feel, you do feel that and it's pretty cool i really really like that sadly though then they transition into somewhat of a george clooney batman which is, you know, like, oh, wow, cool, we have that, and then it flips to that, and it's like, well, and then it goes back to it, you're like, well, hold on, and then comedy, drama, and you're like, what the fuck? And then, you know, it doesn't stay, it, it doesn't keep the one tone, it just keeps on flipping left and right, and you're like, oh, well, one time I'm watching this, then one I'm watching that, then I'm watching that, you're like, what the fuck is happening right now? Like, you, can't, like, like, you don't even know how to react if you should laugh or should sad because then it's like funny then it's serious moment and i don't know where it's like a joke and you're like what the fuck you know like i should laugh i guess ha 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 and then he dies and you're like what the fuck you know that type of thing because it happens like the scene with the avenger avengers right that thing is uh is rather ridiculous because it it pretty much mimics the death of uh uh, what's uh, the uh, what was it, Grandpa Parker, the Uncle Ben? Uh, kind of mimics that from the old Spider-Man movies. But it happens to robbery. It's a silly moment. It all goes crazy, right? They they all have fun, you know. And all of a sudden, then tragedy happens. Like, okay, hold on. Like we just laughed, and now it's tragedy. And then we go through the tragedy, and then it's high school drama, and then it's comedy high school drama, and then it's romance. And then it's again, you know, it, it doesn't it it doesn't have either a serious or a light tone. 
it has mixtures which is crazy because sometimes it doesn't work sometimes it works at very rare moments in the movie it works but at others it's like what the f I, I i don't i don't i don't i can't hold on i was like if you if you start crying and the next like say five minutes is jokes how do you recoup recuperate from that how, how how does that work you don't and then they give you another it's like it's like gut punch gut punch gut punch you know in the face, in the face. And they keep bashing you like fucking <sighs> anyways that's like my biggest beef with the movie other than that i really enjoyed it compared to other mother movies which is surprising uh i would call it a summer you know a uh, flavor of the week summer thing summer movie kind of like ant-man but i would say i enjoyed the cast more than i did with ant-man because ant-man and i'm, I'm gonna be straight up honest ant-man didn't feel like your typical avengers marvel movie it felt rather different right it was due to the fact that there were not many avengers in it similar to this movie as much as they say tony stark you know took over the movie not necessarily it was rather you know spider-man finding himself which is again it's a great origin story it's like a it's like batman year one but spider-man year one and it's really good i like it except for the fact that they killed like two shockers which is crazy i like the the vulture i like the fact that he didn't get killed in the end that was amazing uh also voss was there from far cry 3 what the fuck you know i was like oh, okay so he was he's there and then he he got killed and i was like oh okay and then he showed up again i'm like okay and i don't know i don't know which character he's playing i didn't do i literally just came back and uh that's kind of interesting also the twist was i thought zendaya was gonna be the daughter of vulture i guess not and it turned out zendaya that it was teased that she was gonna be mary jane she is actually Mary Jane, just not called Mary Jane. She's called MJ. <laughs> and her attitude does not even fit Mary Jane. Her attitude is very evil gothy. You know, I like it. Like, it's my type of girl, right? But it's just, it's not the character. And I don't care, man. I'm not, I'm not that, like, I grew up with Spider-Man, right? But I didn't really follow it afterwards. I don't, I didn't read the comics. I read a few comics, but that's that's about it. I watched the other movies, but like only once or twice. And it's been years, and uh, I don't really follow it that much. But regardless, I still enjoyed it. I liked this Peter Parker. I wouldn't say like it's different though. Like that's the same thing with uh, all the different Batman's. Is like you can't really pick one and say one is better than the other because in its set universe, it's different tonally. So this one feels different, similar to ant-man that's why ant-man was so good for to me or for me or both i guess is because it didn't feel like your generic marvel movie it felt a bit on the side of it. it a bit of it and a bit of not it similar to this one this feels a bit sony ish but also a bit marvel ish you know and i guess that's that's good that's better than your generic you know formula that marvel uses uh and i really really enjoyed it I really enjoyed it. I won't say it's like one of my favorite movies. Definitely not. I'll probably forget about it because it's a summer movie like that. It didn't have the impact that Wonder Woman had on me. And uh, I guess this is going to be it for the Spider-Man portion of the video. And now let's talk about Wonder Woman. I cried three times during Wonder Woman. So here's the difference that I made that I wanted to make between Spider-Man and Wonder Woman. is Spider-Man really left you pretty much just like, okay, now let's wait for the credit scene. Wonder Woman got you crying. They're like, "Woo, yeah, woo, let's go, let's go!" And they're like, "Oh shit, maybe there's a post-credit scene. I can't wait." You know that type of thing. Not like, "Okay, so the movie's done. Now let's wait for the post-credit scene." You know, pretty much like that. Because the movie didn't have that build-up to epic moments. Spider-Man, I mean, Spider-Man didn't have that, and uh, Wonder Woman had a lot of those, similar to the trench run uh, in uh, Star Wars. The what was it? No Man's Land. Right? That's the that's the scene I cried first at. A man, like I'ma tell you. I'm I'ma tell you, man. A tear just dropped like it's a three D, you know, three movie, three glasses. My tear I was with a with a girl. She didn't she didn't notice, but I was weeping like a motherfucker, man. I'm I'm pretty good at you know, just holding it. I was gonna lose my shit. Three times I cried in different portions. Uh 
it was man i can't believe it gal gadot man from the beginning like when i when you know me i talked about it i was like gal gadot man are you fucking kidding me like it's ridiculous she's not she's not good she's just too skinny all you know the generic stuff that people said about it but uh i actually really thought this movie did justice to wonder woman in the universe that they've set it's not your it's not your it's not your legacy wonder woman right but then again, Henry Cavill isn't the legacy Superman, nor is Ben Affleck the legacy Batman. Although he's really, he's the closest that we've had to a legacy Batman. You can't say the same thing about Superman, because, I mean, we haven't had that many incarnations. And for Wonder Woman, I mean, you know, one was uh, pretty much just uh, like a spoof type of thing. It felt like a spoof. I guess it, uh, in the old days it was pretty can canonically accurate, but now it's not. Uh, and I guess Wonder Woman kind of felt like it would fit in the more of the 2009-ish section of Wonder Woman, how she was built then, not now. Now Wonder Woman is pretty mature, like, it, it, she feels like she's got, even though, even though in the comics right now they're kind of doing a bit of a, you know, year one-ish type of thing, but uh, it felt like it was... Pretty much at the beginning of her journey in the comics i mean when they did the whole new 52 type of thing uh just a slightly bit beginning of new 52 kind of that's how it felt uh the the difference between and how i see it is that my type of movies that i enjoy comic book movies and how i see it is i like my comic movies to feel epic right i mean movies that actually have some sort of impact on you or people around it this is what I mean between, this is what I wanted to uh, say about Spider-Man and Wonder Woman, how I can put the two together and tell you why Wonder Woman is the better movie, is due to the fact that it will leave a mark, right? And again, I guess it makes sense because it's the first Wonder Woman movie and it's the, who knows what, fifth Spider-Man movie or something? Uh, but yeah, uh, it's it's one of those things that it feels like it's gonna emotionally impact more people rather than this spider-man who's just gonna be oh it's just spider-man now joining the mcu i had a kid today i was like i'm gonna go see uh, i'm gonna go see spider-man oh cool is it gonna be the fifth one like he doesn't like the kid the the main audience is supposed to go see the spider movies it's like that's the fifth one right like it doesn't even know that it's like a reboot and but i guess they don't follow it and that's that's kind of something to think about that not everyone I guess knows about the fact that oh well now this has this behind the scenes this happened and that happened and that's something very important that you don't need to do that you just need to concentrate on what you're doing for example like they wanted to recast uh, Ben Affleck recast Henry Cavill reboot the whole universe and whatever you know the general audience won't follow that they won't care that much right but they'll get confused where you could just continue on doing what you're doing they will be like, oh, if it was Andrew Garfield, they were like, oh, cool, Spider-Man joining. They wouldn't know that, oh, well, it was a Sony thing, the, the thing, but they, they don't care. They don't follow that. They don't, they don't give a shit. And that's one of the things, I guess, that I learned uh, about general audiences is that they literally do not care. They don't follow that backstage bullshit that's going on. Uh, and that's really, really important. And this is where I'm going to talk about why Wonder Woman is surprisingly better than i expected i knew it was gonna be good i just didn't know it was gonna be that good in order to get me to cry you have to really build those epic moments to the point where i believe that that character feels like oh my god they're in danger for example like the the uh the no man's land that they're in danger like are you are they fucking crazy or that type of thing obviously in that moment i didn't feel like that but emotionally inside i felt oh my god look at this beautiful thing that's happening right now she's sacrificing herself or you know all that stuff. even though i knew she wasn't gonna die or anything like that you know the way it was shot the music the everything about it it made it epic and the whole there was literally no lines in that scene that happened which is the way it was shot, the engagement. There were literally scenes, like shots of of set of some moments where you can look at her and you're like, 
holy shit, that's literally ripped from the page, even though it's not a specific page, uh, like uh, Batman v Superman, but you, you look at it and it's like, holy shit, that literally can be on a page and it looks exactly like it. You know, and I guess that's kind of a good thing about Spider-Man as well, because you can see moments where you're like, oh shit, that's, that's probably going to be, in a, that could have been in a comic, you know, where most of the Avengers wouldn't really feel. Don't really, I don't know. Too many jokes, too many jokes. Some were too many jokes in Spider-Man. But there were no too many jokes in Wonder Woman. There were some, but it wasn't too much, right? They, they called it a lighter tone. Yes, you could tell Steve, Steve Trevor really was not the military guy you expected. Kind of like uh, Joel Kinnaman in uh, Suicide Squad with uh, Rick Flagg. He made too many jokes, if you ask me. He wasn't the soldier type. The soldier type is not supposed to be so jokey, right? And it's that's that's kind of the one thing I don't get and I, I, I don't really appreciate or like. Not that I'm saying that uh, soldier types should be like super you know serious and all that but they have discipline right they have to show it at times steve trevor didn't really show all that much discipline he pretty much just went on and just did what he did and that's it and uh i guess i guess that was one of the the other tidbits that i kind of like mm, i wish it was kind of different although you know in the end you pretty much they compare it to like steve rogers how it went pretty much the same thing happened except he probably didn't survive uh and it impacted her, impacted us, the audience. There were claps in the end, which was surprising. And uh, it was a really, really, really good movie. And out of that movie, I actually got three posters, which I'm going to hang on my wall. Uh, really big ones. And uh, that was really, that was really a really, really great movie. I really wish, I really wish uh, that it kind of ended a little bit differently because there was there was a scene where uh she was in england was it i think in the end or france was it i don't, I don't remember uh and uh batman i wish batman was there you know kind of like yeah all that shit because they have the connection thing kind of a little bit like it like a tease but that didn't happen there wasn't there weren't many teases there kind of wish a little bit of that but then again i guess it makes sense right because it's supposed to be like a story on its own and for a story on its own it did really good it really set it up and it's already been confirmed they were getting one of what two petty jenkins is back on it again to do it and uh yeah let's hope let's hope she does just as good of a job and i hope to god Zack snyder is producing and writing or co-writing let's not give all the credit fine to uh to the wonder woman 2 movie because i think he did an amazing job and she did an amazing job and gal Gadot did an amazing job i'm surprised i am glad i'm surprised and uh those are my opinions on both movies uh let me know what you guys think about the movies i know it's kind of late for one of them but the other one just came out so don't be shy to talk about that one so thank you guys for watching i'll see you